What's going on guys? Welcome back to the shop. Today we're working on the Subaru again. Um, it was just Black Friday, so I've got a bunch of parts to install. Today is just a simple one, um, fingers crossed. Uh, <laughs> and it's just a uh, Cobb 4 bar map sensor, um, which uh, should go on pretty easily, I guess. So if you're not sure what the map sensor is or where it is, it is this guy right here and MAP stands for Manifold Absolute Pressure and basically, I guess it monitors pressure. <laughs> uh, I don't know the exact, um, yeah, explanation of it, but the stock MAP sensor is pretty much good for up to 22 pounds of boost, so if you're looking to turn your boost up, you definitely wanna go to a MAP sensor that has more range so that's what the four bar is. It can read four bars of pressure. And usually upgrading the map sensor kind of goes hand in hand when you go with the speed density. So that's kind of foreshadowing um, what's happening with this. Uh, so anyways, let's go look at what you get in the Cobb kit and toss it on the car. All right, so this is the four bar map sensor kit. Part number there. It does say cast manifold. I'm not sure if that means they have different ones for like say a process west manifold, but um, if you've just got a stock manifold, um, make sure to get this one. So this is the little billet piece that um, will install in the stock location of the OE sensor. And this guy here is the uh, sensor itself. You can read that. Now I have heard or did read online that these do go bad and specifically the Cobb ones. So potentially this could go bad and you can actually get a generic sensor from Amazon. I think it's a continental sensor, um, which is much cheaper than getting a replacement from Cobb. Um, I think all they do is actually just stick their sticker on it. But um, basically this threads into there and then this installs into the throttle body. And what we've got here, we've got some lube and some hardware. So, this little o ring here, you want to slide it onto that groove there, um, but make sure you lube that up first. And then we've got some Loctite. Got a little bit of thread sealer. And what you want to do with this is just put a little bit right on the end here. Or not on the end, sorry, on the threads here. Make sure not to get it in this end because uh, that's where obviously it's going to read the, <laughs> read the pressure from. Um, and then, yeah, just assemble this and uh, pop it onto the car and secure it with these screws here. All right, so we should have an assembly that looks like this. Um, 
just hand tighten this into here for now and then once we get it on the car we'll tighten it up um, to spec. All right, so back over at the car. First thing we'll do, just disconnect the sensor. So, and then we'll remove these two Phillips screws here. Now you wanna be careful if these are rusted or crusty, um, you might wanna soak these before trying to remove them because you don't wanna strip these holes out. Um, so just, be careful there. So now we'll just take our map sensor assembly and just pop it into the hole. Just like that. Now they do have it um, sort of pointing this way over top of the throttle body, but I don't think it really matters if you wanted to point it that way. Um, the only thing that would be different is the Cobb logo would be upside down. But um, yeah, I don't think the orientation really matters all that much. And we'll secure it using the supplied screws. Yeah, just be careful not to over torque these because again, you don't want to strip that out. So lastly, you want to make sure you remember to tighten the sensor and this takes a 22 millimeter wrench and you just want to tighten it to eight foot pounds, which I'm not really sure how you're supposed to do that unless you've got a one of those sort of sensor sockets, but I don't actually have one. so. Um, yeah, just tighten it up, not too much because eight foot pounds is obviously not a lot. So, it's probably a good idea to do a boost leak test after you install this just to make sure that you do have it tight enough. And then, lastly, all you need to do is connect the wiring harness. So, again, this is kind of ugly how they have it routed. I'm probably gonna fish this underneath the throttle body and plug it in over here. But uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, yeah, that's basically the install. All right guys, that's it for the Cobb 4 bar map sensor install. Uh, like you saw, it's pretty simple. I think anybody could do it. Um, I will be sort of cleaning up this wiring routing just a little bit, uh, just to make it look a little bit tidier, but, uh, yeah, now I should be able to run enough boost to, uh, easily blow this thing up. So, <laughs> uh, anyways, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching.